we discuss the intricate and important topic of shoulder instability. Traumatic instability typically follows an injury, such as a fall or sports-related trauma, at traumatic instability. This occurs due to congenital or developmental anatomical abnormalities or general joint laxity. Diagnosing shoulder instability requires a thorough physical examination and imaging studies such as x-rays, MRI, or MR arthrograms. Specific tests, such as the apprehension test or relocation test, are helpful in identifying the instability type and severity. When dislocations recur or conservative treatments fail, surgical interventions may be necessary. Surgical options include arthroscopic stabilization, where damaged tissues like the labrum are repaired, open surgery, necessary for severe cases. When there is significant bone loss, shoulder instability is a complex condition requiring a thorough understanding of the anatomy, biomechanics, and appropriate diagnostic tools.